right here in the Absolute Lounge, backstage at Fun 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 Fest in Austin with the one and only Roger Sellers. It's good to be here. Austin's own Roger Sellers. You know, we're, you. we're really excited to, uh, you, you had a, a great set today and it was uh, right in the middle of, um, either, the set was mostly uh, hip hop sets around right. you. So that, that had to be kind of fun, right. right? But the crowd loved it. Yeah, I think uh, it worked out. It was, uh, I got an earlier slot, you know, and. Uh, I'd never played Fun Fun before, but it was, it was really good to actually be there as a local, you know, in one of the only, I think, six or seven local spots. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because you, you start playing and then people just kind of come in and then towards the end of the set, it's, you know, over 100, 200 people, you know. And, you know, it was good. Uh, like you said, I was playing with a lot of uh, hip hop bands, but I've, I've played with a lot of hip hop bands before, and, and usually it doesn't seem like it's going to work out, but it always does, you know, because I guess I have a lot of kind of beat oriented, kind of tribal, you know, drumming uh, that kind of keeps people moving in between the sets, you know, and it's got a lot of different, you know, kind of melodic features than hip hop, but uh, almost every time people kind of eat it up. Well, I know it's almost impossible for an artist to, to really describe their music, but how would you describe it? Um, the easiest way for me to describe all of my music would be just eclectic. I mean, um, I've been doing so many different things for, for a while now, and I would definitely say if there's, a, like, a, I've maintained some kind of element, it would be melody. I, I, I have a huge obsession with melody in anything that I make, you know. Uh, I, I go from doing you know, folk music to very harsh electronic kind of experimental music when I'm you know, playing my electronic set. Um, but I've definitely maintained a, a sense of melody and just melodic color and harmony that uh, really brings a, a different, you know, emotional point to, to music to me whether it's video game music or soundtracks or that's just really what I've been uh, stoked on for so long just melody in general pop music I've been really loving pop music lately like it's, it's just just what I grew up on and, and the more that I've even made more experimental or folky music the more that I realize that I just I just love pop music you know? well and uh, coming up next you actually have a new album that you're gonna record right, right. here in Austin what can you tell us about that right. well I mean uh, I guess like I was saying earlier, with, with, with the craft, I, I guess that's... I really don't know exactly what to expect. I'm going to have to just take a little bit of time off and focus more on the craft rather than the game. And I think <clears throat> most artists would probably say that that's important too. Almost every artist, every band, you know, takes time off from take, uh, playing shows. And I figured Fun Fun would be a good time to kind of make that point. Um, and just kind of see what happens. I mean, my, like I earlier we were saying, that my music's very eclectic, so I'm just going to kind of leave it to something, some kind of artistic spirit that I'm almost not responsible for to communicate through me and, and just let it happen. Uh, I have no really big plans on how it's going to work. I'm going to start from scratch. You know? Well, we're looking forward to hearing it. I'm waiting to hear how the, how the spirit captures you. Sure, so man. Thank so you. thank you so much for being here with us in the Absolute Lounge, and we'll be back more on Absolute TV backstage here at Fun 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 Fest in Austin.